Lately, I have been listening to an audio recording of a book by C.S. Lewis called The Screwtape Letters. It's a series of fictional letters by an older demon named Screwtape to his nephew, who's a younger demon in training uh, named Wormwood. And Screwtape is giving him all of this wonderful advice on how do we effectively draw people away from God? How do we distract them in prayer? How do we get them to fall into sin? How do we get them away from God and into the territory of the evil one? Uh, so it's kind of a fun um, study in uh, how the evil one does work in our lives. And I want to share with you this quote from that. There's the older demon is uh, giving advice to this younger one on how to distract Christians in prayer, because they're going to reach this point where they feel like they ought to pray, and they're going to spend some time in prayer. So here's what he has to say. He says, the best thing is to keep the patient, that would be the, us humans, keep the patient from the serious intention of praying altogether. Then he goes on to giving this example of what it would be like for a person to pray, but in a distracted way, like they're, they're, they're physically like kneeling and they're closing their eyes, but their actually mind is elsewhere. He goes on to say, this is exactly the sort of prayer that we want because it bears a superficial resemblance to the prayer of silence practiced by those who are very far advanced in God's service. So the evil one wants to distract us in prayer. We all know prayer is a battle. We've all had that experience where we try to sit down to pray, we try to be quiet, we try to focus our minds, and then the world just comes crashing in, or our emotions are overwhelming us, and it's really hard to stay focused. The evil one wants to distract us, and he wants to discourage us. So I want to give you a few ideas on how do we deal with distraction in prayer, and I have uh, three tips for you. First would be to prepare, then refocus, and then pray with the distraction. The first thing, prepare for prayer. I think this is maybe where we can fall the most. We can make the biggest error by not preparing to pray. We can do that in a number of ways. The first thing I would say is get in the habit of keeping God on your mind at all times. Like think about God, talk to God, invite him into your day. Thank him for the blessings that are in front of you. Uh, in those moments of, of quiet in the course of your day, maybe it's as you're uh, driving to work or um, making breakfast, like those little moments where we have some quiet time, allow our minds to drift to the things of God. Maybe we're reflecting on some reading that we recently came across when we were reading in a spiritual book, or maybe it's something from the homily last weekend, like allow our mind to drift to the things of God. Then when we go to pray, our minds will actually be ready to enter into prayer. We're not going to be fighting off all these distractions because we've actually been focused on the things of God all day long. And when we begin our prayer time, maybe it's a good idea to ask God for help in focusing. Say, Lord, please help me to focus on prayer today because I'm really tempted to be distracted. That in itself might be really powerful because the Lord wants to come to our aid. He wants to draw us into a relationship with him. And then if we're really struggling with, with, with some distractions, then maybe start our prayer time with actually just processing all the stuff that's in our head. And if we have to uh, write something down just to get it out of our head so we can think about it later, go for it. So that's the first thing, prepare. The second thing I would say is refocus and bring things with you that will help you to refocus on prayer when you're trying to pray. So bring a Bible with you so you can flip that open to one of the Gospels or one of the letters of St. Paul and it will help you to just think about something that God has to say. Allow God to speak to us through the scriptures and then be receptive to that. We can bring other kinds of spiritual reading with us as well into prayer. That can be extremely helpful for helping us to, to refocus, to get our mind back on the things of God when we're clearly in that moment tempted to not think about God. The temptation, though, is that if we're really enjoying that spiritual reading is we're going to want to spend all of our prayer time just reading. So we need to be careful about that. We need to keep an eye on that little temptation to not actually bring it to God. So we should read that spiritual reading to the point at which, wow, something strikes us as rather interesting. Something kind of sparks something within me. Then close the book and sit with that thing and talk with God about it then we've allowed the spiritual reading to be a springboard for deeper prayer with God. 
The last thing I would suggest is actually pray with the distraction. That might seem a little counterintuitive, but stay with me here for a second. God really wants to be with us. He wants to be with us in all things. And so if what we're struggling with is outside thoughts or inside emotions that are, are starting to pull us away from God, then God wants to be a part of that. So maybe we can say, Lord, I'm really distracted right now by this conversation I need to have with so-and-so. Please help me to process this. We might find that by inviting God into the distraction, that it becomes a really powerful moment of prayer. Maybe that thing that's been on our mind is exactly the thing that God really wants to talk to us about right now. And here we've been trying to focus on something else, so presuming God wants us to go elsewhere in prayer, where God wants us to go maybe into the depths of our distractions, the things that are keeping us from God. And that helps us because sometimes when we're in distraction, we're just kind of staying in our head. We're not actually talking to God. We're just staying in our head and then we finish our prayer time with a sign of the cross or a Hail Mary or something and we convince ourselves that we were really praying. But it would be a deeper prayer if we just bring that thing that's stuck in our head into relationship with God, like relate it back to him because prayer is relationship. Prayer is relating to the Lord the things that are in our heart. It puts us in relationship with him. We know the devil's tactics, <laughs> so we need to come prepared. We prepare. We refocus and we pray with the distractions. It is time for us to fight back and to enter into the battle of prayer. God bless you.